Hello everybody and once again welcome to Pankaj Sats Echelon Tutorials and this is in continuation with our IGCSE curriculum uh, that uh, we were doing IGCSE Maths. Okay. And we have completed some 17-18 videos on this and we are on to chapter number 2. The name of this chapter is Algebra 1. Okay. And I am referring to a book called David Rainer. And this is uh, the fourth edition of this David Rainer. Okay. From this book, from this Algebra 1 chapter, I am uh, doing this exercise 8 right now. And in the previous video, I have already completed up to question number 20. Okay. So now I have to start with question number 21. Right. So with that as the background, background, let us get started with, okay. So question number 21 is what, let us see. 21 is uh, over here. It says that K square M square bracket M minus a N. Now, you know, for this questions number 17 to 32, this is question number 21. So this comes in this category, 17 to 32. You have to take k as minus 3, you have to take m as 1 and you have to take n as minus 4, okay? So k square will be minus 3 square, m square will be 1 square and uh, bracket m minus n. So m is how much? m is uh, 1 minus n. So it will be 1 minus n is minus 4, so minus 4, okay? So this will be minus 3 square will be 9 into 1 square will be 1 so 9 into 1 and this will be 1 minus into minus is plus so plus 4 so you get 9 ones are 9 times 4 plus 1 is 5 and 9 into 5 is 45 so the answer for this question number 21 has to be 45 and it is 45 okay so let us come to question number 22 now 22 is k square minus a 3k plus 4. Now you have to evaluate this. So k is how much you have to take? k is minus 3. Okay, so minus 3 square minus 3 times k is again minus 3 plus a 4. Now this will work out to minus 3 square will become 9. This minus 3 into minus 3 will be plus 9 and then a plus 4. This will work out to 9 plus 9, 18, and 18 and 4 will be 22. So the answer for the question number 22 is 22, okay? So that is also correct. Now coming to question number 23. 23 is, uh, M. no, it's not very visible for me, okay? Uh, is it uh, M square or M cube? Okay, let me check it from the book. One second. I'll check it from the book. Uh, page number 63, I suppose, right? Yeah. Yes, here we are. Question number 23, right? And question number 23 is... Uh, yeah, it is m cube plus m square. Okay, so it is m cube plus m square plus n square plus n. Okay, so from the screen of my desktop, it was not really visible, but from the book, I have noted down the question. And now let us work out. Okay. Fine. Now, one second. It's page number 63. Mm. Yeah. Mm. One second. Huh? Okay. Yes. So the question is m cube plus m square 
plus n square plus n. Okay. So now let us substitute the values. So when we substitute the values, this will work out to m is how much? m you have to take as 1. Right. So it will be 1 cube plus a 1 square plus a n is minus 4. So minus 4 square plus n is minus 4. So minus 4. This will work out to 1 cube is 1. 1 square is again 1. This is plus and this minus 4 square will be plus 16. And then plus into minus is minus and then a 4. This will work out to 1 plus 1, 2 plus 16 minus a 4. This, this should work out to 16 plus 2 is 18. 18 minus a 4 which should give you 14. So answer is 14 for this particular question number 23. And uh, the book says, yeah, it's correct. 14 is the answer, right? Okay. So let us move on to question number 24 now. 24th question says, uh, k square, or rather it is k cube. Now let me again check here. Yeah, it is k cube plus a 3k. 24th is k cube plus 3 times k. Now k you have to take is take from your minus 3. So minus 3 cube plus 3 times minus 3. This will work out to now minus 3 cube will be minus into minus into minus. Okay, so that will be minus into minus plus plus into minus will be minus. So this will give you the answer in negative. And 3 ka cube will be 3, 3, 3. You have to multiply 3 into 3 into 3. That will give you 27. Then this will give you plus 3 into minus 3 will be minus 9. So the answer will be minus 27 minus 9. So both are having the same sign. So I'll put that same sign. And I'll just add the numbers 27 and 9. So 27 and 9 will be 36. So minus 36 has to be the answer for this question number 24. And let me check it. For question number 24, the answer is minus 36. That's absolutely correct. Okay. Now coming to question number 25. 25th question says it is m times k cube minus n square. k cube minus n square. Now once again let me verify it. It is uh, 25th is m times k square minus n square. Okay, it is not k cube. It is k square minus a n square right okay fine so m you have to take how much m you have to take one so it will be one bracket k you have to take how much k you can take as minus three so it will be minus three square minus and then n you have to take minus four so it will be minus four square this will be equal to this one times multiplied by anything will be th the same thing so i'm not considering that one so I'll do this way. Minus 3 square will be 9. Minus, minus 4 square will be 16. So the answer will be 9 minus 16, which works out to a minus uh, uh, 9 minus 16 should work out to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Minus 7. Okay. So the answer for the 25th is minus 7 all right let me check it for 25th the answer is minus 7 and that's absolutely correct okay now let us move on to the next one okay now coming to question number 26 okay so let me make some space for that so here we come down and now let us go for question number 26 okay 26 says now it is m times root of k minus n okay k minus n so m you have to take one root of k you have to take how much uh, k is minus three minus n will be minus 4. See how to make proper use of brackets over here. Okay, so 1 multiplied by anything will remain that anything only. 
So I'm not considering this one. So answer will be root of minus 3 minus into minus is plus 4. This will be square root of minus 3 plus 4 will work out to this is opposite sign. So I'll take the sign of the bigger number that is 4 and I'll subtract 3 from 4. So I'll get 1. So square root of 1 should be the answer and square root of 1 is either plus or minus 1. So the question number 26 answer will be plus or minus 1. Let me check that. 26 answer is plus or minus 1. That's absolutely correct. Coming to question number 27. 27 is 100 k square plus m. This should work out to 100 k you have to take minus 3. So minus 3 square plus m is 1. This will be 100. This minus 3 square will be 9 because minus square will be plus and 3 square will be 9 plus a 1. Okay. Now what you have to do is 100 into 9 you have to do first. That will be 900 and then plus 1. So answer will be 901. Don't make the mistake of adding this 9 and 1 first. Thinking that it will become 10 and then you multiply 10 by this 100. So the answer will be 1000. That will be a wrong answer. Okay. Don't do that. You have to follow something called Bodmer's theorem over here. What is Bodmer's theorem? You have to start with bracket of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Here you can see 10 and 9 there is multiplication and here there is addition. So first you have to do multiplication and then you proceed with addition. So first you have to multiply 100 with 9 to make it 900. Then you have to add 1 to that 900. So making the answer as 901 not the other way okay so that was question number 27 whose answer has to be 901 which is again absolutely correct now coming to question number 28 okay yeah question number 28 here we are 28 question number says what 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 okay here we have, I'll read out from the book only, it is m square times 2k square minus 3n square. Okay, that's the question, right? Now, m is 1, so 1 square bracket 2 into k is uh, minus 3, so minus 3 square minus 3 into n is minus 4, so minus 4 square. This will be 1 square will be just 1 and now this will be 2 and minus 3 square will be plus 9. Then this minus 3 and then minus 4 square will be plus 16. So 1 times this will be plus 9 into 2 will be plus 18. And this is plus into minus will be minus and 16 3 is our 48. So my answer will be 1 times plus 18 minus 48 so because they have opposite sign I'll take the sign of the bigger number so minus I'll take and I'll subtract 18 from 48 so that will give me 0 and then 3 now 1 into minus 30 is nothing but minus 30 so my final answer for 28 question is minus 30 and let me check that for 28 the answer is minus 30 okay now coming to 29th, 29th is, uh, uh, well, it is 2k plus a m upon k minus a n, this one I am doing, okay. So again, the value of k I will take as a minus 3, so 2 times minus 3 plus m is 1, so I will take 1 upon k is again minus 3 minus a minus 4 because n is minus 4. Now let us work out. This will be equal to 2 into minus 3 will be minus 6 plus a 1 upon this minus 3 I am keeping as it is and I will multiply this minus and minus so it will become plus. So minus 3 plus 4. Now let us work out this. Minus 6 plus 1 will work out to minus 5 and minus 3 plus 4 will work out to plus 1. So my final answer will be minus upon plus is minus 
5 upon 1 is 5. So minus 5 is the answer for the question number 29. And let me check it. And the answer is minus 5 for 29th. Okay. Now let us go for the 30th one. Okay. Let us go question number 30. Question number 30 says it is k into n minus a k upon 2 times m. So this will be k is minus 3, n is minus 4, minus minus 3 whole upon 2 times m, m is 1. So this will work out to minus 3 into minus 4 will be minus into minus plus and 4 threes are 12. So plus 12. This will work out to minus minus plus, so it will be 3 upon 2 ones are 2. This is straightforward 12 plus 3 is 15 upon 2. So the answer is 15 upon 2 or you can write it as uh, 7.5 if you want. Okay. So the answer for the 30th question is, uh, according to me, it is 7 and a half, 7.5. That's correct. 15 upon 2, 7.5, 1 and the same. So two more questions are left in this exercise. No, there are more questions, but on the screen, we have to do two more. So let us complete that. 31. Question number 31 says 3K plus a 2M divided by 2N minus a 3K. Okay. Now just plug in the values 3 into minus 3K is minus 3 plus 2 into M is 1. So 2 into 1. 2 into n is minus 4, so minus 4 minus 3 into k is minus 3. That will work out too. Now this is plus 3 into minus 3 will be minus 9. Plus 2 into plus 1 will be plus 2. Divided by plus 2 into minus 4 will be minus 8. And this will be minus 3 into minus 3 will be plus 9. Now let us work out this. Minus 9 plus 2 will be minus 7. Upon minus 8 plus 9 will be 1. Okay, plus 1 rather. So this will be giving you the answer as minus upon plus is minus, 7 upon 1 is 7. So minus 7 should be the answer for 31. And 31 ka answer is minus 7. That's correct. Okay. And now the 32nd question. It says 32nd is a K plus a M plus a N divided by k square plus m square plus n square okay so k is minus 3 m is 1 n is minus 4 right divided by k square is minus 3 square plus m square is 1 square plus n square is minus 4 square this will work out to minus 3 plus 1 plus into minus minus so minus 4 minus 3 plus 1 minus 4 divided by minus 3 square will be 9 plus 1 square will be 1 plus minus 4 square will be 16 so your answer will be minus 3 plus 1 that is minus 2 and then you have a minus 4 9 plus 1 10 10 plus a 16 this will give you the answer as minus 2 minus 4 will be minus 6 Divided by 10 plus 16 makes 26. So this if you want to reduce, you can divide this by, uh, you take 2 as a common factor. So you'll get uh, minus uh, 3 upon 13. So the answer for the 32nd one is minus 3 upon 13, which is absolutely correct. So with this, we have completed this 32 questions from this exercise 8 but then we have to complete uh, up to 50 there are 50 questions in this exercise 8 so in the next video perhaps we will be starting with question number 33 and up to 50 we will cover in the next video perhaps okay so till then again goodbye take care all of you see you all